today, BB-8, the adorable Alaskan Klee Kai from a galaxy far, far away, and I are going to show you the basics in puppy leash training. And in doing that, I'll show you an indispensable secret to teaching your dog successfully. Click thumbs up for the cutest puppy I could possibly find. If you're new to my channel, you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe and become part of YouTube's number one dog training community. The next thing you'll wanna do is make sure that you have lots of time with your new puppy, as well as really good puppy food. Now, running to the store every few weeks to get your puppy's food, that's the old way of doing things. Getting your food from petflow.com, well, that's the better way of doing things. You can have your puppy's food, regardless of brand, automatically shipped to your front door as often as you'd like. You can't bite my microphone. Just go to petflow.com slash Zach George and pick out your favorite high quality dog food and determine how often you want it delivered. Now you can choose between every two and every 16 weeks. It really is that easy. I'll have a coupon code in the description that will give you 20% off of your first order. Now let's go train BB-8. Now I'm gonna level with you. If you're new to teaching dogs and you're just trying to wing it, you're probably taking steps that are way too big. Today I'm gonna to show you the art of changing one variable at a time and how this will change everything about your training. This concept of changing one variable at a time is really profound. In fact, you'll be able to apply it in all aspects of your puppy's training for the rest of his life. A leash and harness is the most ideal way to control your dog's surroundings, and that's an essential part of teaching a new dog. I recommend actually attaching the leash to you. That way you can more easily supervise your dog and you can have many more impromptu training sessions with them. For example, you're much more likely to pick up on your dog's cues that he has to go outside, or if he starts chewing on a shoe, you're right there to redirect his attention back onto you. If you didn't know much about teaching dogs, you might break this down into three steps. Put the harness on your dog, put the leash on your dog, and start walking. To do this right, you actually need to break it down into about 10 or 11 different steps. The steps are really easy and that is the whole point. See, puppies haven't really experienced a lot in life yet and they can be really thrown off if you just put a harness like this on them without easing them into it. Let's work with BB-8 on getting him comfortable with his new harness. You'll definitely want to have a really strong currency. Today I'm using tiny pieces of real chicken. He's still in that communication building phase under four months of age, so you have to really rely on treats to keep his attention on you so that it buys you time to teach real language and real phrases to your dog. Does that make sense? Now I'm going to introduce the harness here. I just wanna let him know there's something new in his environment. I'm gonna let him explore it, smell it. I'm gonna try and create some positive associations. You see how he went to me for the treat right there? I love that. That indicates to me he's not particularly stressed by this new item in his environment. I'm gonna move it around, it makes sounds. Look at that, yes! So I'm happy here, he seems to be okay with it on the ground. I'm gonna go to the next step now and pick it up and let him sniff it, very good. I'm gonna treat him there. Now I'm gonna touch him with it over here and let him know, you saw him back off a little bit there. That was interesting, he was like, what's that about? So I wanna make sure that I let him know it's okay. Yes, good. Now I'm going to try and make some progress towards getting the harness on him here. Right there, I've gotten it right there on his front legs. I'm gonna just touch it and come down. Good dog, really good. One variable at a time. Good dog. <laughs> Look at him go, good, 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 just like that. And look, he's doing so well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and clip it. Nice work. By going slowly the first few times you do anything like introduce a harness or give your dog a bath or anything else your dog might not love right away, you'll be more likely to have a dog that's accepting of these actions in the future. I'm just trying to distract him from biting at the harness and let him know it's cool, forget about that. Now it's time for the most challenging part of this exercise and that is actually attaching the leash. If I just put a leash on a young puppy like this, they're very likely going to start panicking and bucking and not really enjoying the experience. I really want to avoid that. So first I'm gonna show him the leash here, let him investigate it. He's a little apprehensive there, yes, good. My next step will be to touch it to the place where it hooks right here on the harness just to let him know, look, this is gonna happen sometimes, just desensitizing him to it, yes. Now let's take the significant step of actually attaching the leash, but I wanna do my best here to make sure that there's no tension on the leash, either by him pulling or me inadvertently pulling. That is the part where dogs tend to be like, no, I don't wanna do it anymore. I'm just leaving the leash on the ground just so he can 
understand that's there and look at him he's looking at it like why is that dragging behind me i walked and it moved if your dog does get a little spooked it's not the end of the world just take a step back on your training be a little extra patient as they work through this concept of being restrained let them run around and experience having the feeling of a leash dragging from him for this part of the training initially your puppy might be tempted to play with a leash or bite at it or playfully drag it around for now you should tolerate this rather than being too strict because it's much more important to make sure your puppy is having a great time while you introduce the leash. Now I'm just gonna pick up the leash like this and I'm gonna drop it just to let him know that can happen. It might seem silly to break things down into such small steps but by doing so we're increasing the odds that each step will be successful. So now I'm gonna try and pick up the leash and encourage BB-8 to walk around with me while the leash is attached. Come here bud. Look at that. And I'm encouraging him to walk towards me rather than walk away from me. That does a couple of things. As we discussed before, it keeps tension from occurring on the leash, but it also keeps his attention on me as well, which is gonna be really handy in future training sessions. Good job, buddy. Ooh, little tension, little tension, but he did well. Yes, good job. If you'd like to help us continue to produce videos like this, consider making a contribution to our Patreon campaign. I'll have a link in the description. You can also change the way you buy dog food by setting up automatic pet food delivery too. Give BB-8 a big thumbs up if you think he did a good job and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And in the comments section below, tell me if you wanna see BB-8 in another video and we might just do that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out these other episodes too. A reliable stay is essential if you have a dog, so make sure you're familiar with teaching a surprise stay. Now, if your dog hasn't learned to leave your food alone when you're not paying attention, check out how to teach your dog to stop stealing food. Or, if your dog simply begs, you should definitely check out Stop Begging and Settle Down. That video is awesome, and it's actually one of my highest rated videos ever. Thank you to all of my subscribers and especially my Patreon supporters. See you guys next time.